hey what's up and welcome back in this video we're gonna take a look how to create materials that you get online and it's not seamless we're gonna take one and we're gonna do our example for today is this marble we can uh, download it and we can uh, redo the the we're gonna make it seamless okay so let's get started okay so if you don't know pixabay it's a free website that you can download high quality images you just need to sign out and then you can download it how high of resolution that you want pretty good stuff i download this green uh bluish green material i like it it looks good so we're gonna work on it as you can see it's not it's not seamless it's a little bit more dark on this side and a little bit more bright on this side and we're gonna fix that so let's jump right into Photoshop. Okay, now in Photoshop we got um, we got this texture. So first of all, just to see um, that it's not tiled, if I go here and I click offset, so it gives me like a slider how much I want to slide it, and you can see the connection here and the connection here uh, are not perfect. Now obviously I can take the stamp tool and fix it, but I want it. First, before I do it, I uh, just press exit. Before I do it, I want to make more, more texture. It's a little bit small, so I want to make it more repeatedly, so it doesn't look exactly the same everywhere. So my first step, I'm gonna unlock the background. Second step, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go on image, canvas size. I'm gonna change it to percent, and put a hundred percent and also here a hundred percent basically it's gonna make the canvas double the side each way so now we just actually so for that you don't need to download the the biggest version in pixabay because then your your files will be humongous now that we got all this set up um i hold the alt and i create a copy now we have this uh texture uh, right next to each other Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is control T free free uh, free transform and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play around and see what works the best. So first I'm gonna flip it horizontal So the way it works if you see like it's like a mirror It's gonna be very obvious on the rendering that it's coming back. So I don't want that So what I'm gonna do also I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it horizontal once I flip it horizontal, this looks a little bit more natural. This connection looks a little bit natural. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to click enter for approving the transform. I'm going to put a mask on with the mask uh, tool and I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to paint. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to paint with black to, to make the connection a little bit better to make the, the seamless a little bit better. So now I got a little bit better texture. Now after I did it, I can just drag the, the layer um, to see what I got here. I can drag it a little bit and see where it sits the best, I don't think. It, and if I want to refine it, I can go back and take the, the brush, just refine it a little bit more so it looks pretty good so I like it I think it looks good the next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take both of them and I'm gonna make them into a group and now I'm gonna just drag both of them right here now what I can do now is just what I'm what I'm gonna do now is just gonna put a layer on top of this group and now I'm gonna drag it just a little bit up to here now I can try to see which way works better. So I'm gonna go do again, control T, free transform, and I'm gonna try horizontal, horizontal, and I'm gonna try vertical to see if I can see something that works a little bit better for the, for the marble material. Now I don't want to have the same direction. Like you see here, this dot is coming back here again. So that, I don't want it. So. I'm gonna try to switch it up a little bit so I get a little bit more variation. Maybe if I do like that, um, I'll get a better a result. So now that I'm 
pretty uh, uh, pretty much happy with it the only thing is because it's darker here so when we gonna do tiling it's gonna have a darker uh, darker uh, mark in the center so I prefer not to do it so I'm gonna try to see again if I can find something a little bit better so this one um, I'm not a big fan this way is the same as this way so let's flip this way uh, let's just do it like this I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna add another on on top sorry I add already I'm gonna add a mask on top of the group and the same process just blur the connection between both those both of those um, between both of those uh, be <laughs> between the both of those uh, um, groups okay so this looks already much better now now I can I can uh, I can drag it again and see where it works a little bit better and again I can try to flip it if I feel like maybe it can work a little bit this way better I'm not sure yeah yeah I think this way is works pretty good yeah it looks natural okay so now I'm gonna take the crop tool and I'm gonna just align it with where my image and now I have this all one picture so uh, one one image so I, now I want to flat it I want to make it one it, one one um, w merge all the layers together so I can or just gra grab it and make a copy and then click here and merge merge layers I get a flat or if you want a shortcut it's control alt shift E will do the same thing control alt shift E so that'll do the same thing so I don't need two but that's basically the same thing now when we look here you can see that I have some some weird stuff that comes back again like this spot and this spot so when you see something obvious like that it's better if you uh, take the stamp tool or the the healing and just try to fix that because that you probably will see and the uh, and the rendering coming back or like so you need to try to get rid of some of it like you can leave one but not have more than one so this looks pretty good like here's this this round and this round is identical so um, gonna fix also this part just to add a tiny bit of variation so it doesn't look exactly the same next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, filter other and now I'm gonna um, move it a little bit and just like that and now I have this line crossing so obviously I don't want the line so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take my uh, my stamp tool. I'm gonna sample and I'm gonna blur the line so I don't have the connection line or the the so it won't be obvious where where th did I put those images together I try to get similar textures and also if I see some some dots like this dot and this dot I hope uh, it's obvious what I'm doing but I'm just gonna try to fix whatever I can okay I'm gonna export this so I'm gonna go export quick quick I have here one that I already did so I'm gonna do now another one and I'm gonna import it into my SketchUp scene and uh, one sec just 
just open it, import in, it looks a little bit um, without a proportion, so I'm just gonna reload it again, because maybe uh, the image is in a different size. So as you can see, this looks pretty good, and it's a very big texture. So even if I scale it up or scale it down, I still get a good, um, <clears throat> a good texture repeating, and a seamless looks nice. That's about it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you want different materials, if you want different videos, V-Ray, whatever you want, just type in the comment below. Um, looking to do more tutorials so i hope it was helpful keep it real have a good day